Good morning everybody. This is Vara Prasad, Assistant Professor, Department of Computer Science and Engineering, G. Pulay College of Engineering and Technology, Karnal. Today, we will discuss Introduction to Objective Oriented Analysis and Design and Modeling, in short, OADM. The Structure of Complex System. Here there are some examples of uh, complex systems like the structure of personal computer, the structure of plant, the structure of matter, and the structure of social institutions. These are the some of the examples of uh, complex systems here. Coming to the structure of personal computer, a personal computer is a device of moderate complexity. Most of them are composed with the same major elements like CPU, monitor, keyboard, and uh, secondary storage devices, floppy disk, hard disk, and so on. For example, a CPU typically encompasses primary memory ALU and a bus to which peripheral devices are attached. Each of these parts may in turn be further decomposed. An ALU may be divided into register and random control logic. Hence, this is the hierarchy nature of a complex system. A personal computer functions properly only because of the collaborative activity of each major, comp each major parts. And coming to the structure of plant, plant consists of three major structures like roots, systems, leaves, and each of these has its own structure. For example, roots encompasses branch roots, root heads, root apex, and root cap. Similarly, a leaf reveals its epidermis, vascular tissues. Each of these structures is further composed of a collaborate collection of cells and inside each cell wall, each cell we find at another level of complexity encompassing such elements as nucleus, nucleus and so on. And coming to the third example of complex system, the structure of matter, the study of fields as diverse as astronomy and in nuclear physics provides us with many other examples of incredibly complex systems. Astronomers study galaxies that are arranged in clusters and stars, planets are the constitutes of galaxies. And the last example of complex system, the structure of social institutions. Group of people join together to accomplish tasks that cannot be done by individuals. As organization grows larger, there is a distinct hierarchy emerge. Multinational corporations grow larger. There is a distinct hierarchy emerge. Multinational corporations contain companies which in turn are made up of divisions, which in turn contain branches, which in turn encompasses local offices and so on. So these are the some of the examples of complex system. And the inherent complexity of software. Here, the inherent complexity of software derives from four elements the complexity of the problem domain and the difficulty of managing the developmental process, the flexibility possible through software, the problems of characterizing the behavior of discrete systems. These are all the some of the inherent complexity of uh, software derived from these four elements. The coming to the complexity of problem domain, this complexity usually springs from the impedance mismatch that is mismatch between the user and the developer. And coming to the second one, the difficulty of managing the developmental process, the fundamental task of the software development team is to develop a code with minimum number of lines. The developer has to strive to write less code by inventing clever and powerful mechanisms that gives us this illusion of simplicity as well as by reusing frameworks of existing design and code. Today, it is not unusual to find a delivered system whose size is measured in hundreds of thousands or even millions of lines of code. No one can ever understand such a system completely. Even if we decompose our implementation in meaningful ways, it still end up with hundreds and sometimes thousands of separate modules. And coming to the third one, the flexibility possible through software. Software offers the ultimate flexibility, so it is possible for a developer to express almost any kind of abstractions. This flexibility turns out to be an incredible property while the construction industry has 
uniform building codes and standards for the quality of raw materials. Few such standards exist in the software industry. And the last one that is the problems of characterizing the behavior of discrete systems. If we toss a ball into the air, we can re reliably predict its path because we know the we know that under normal conditions certain laws of physics applies. We would be very surprised if just because we throw the ball a little harder half way through, through its flight, it suddenly stops, stopped and shot straight up into the air. In a not quite debugged software simulation of this ball's motion, exactly that kind of behavior can easily occur. Small changes in inputs will always cause us correspondingly some changes small changes in outputs. And coming to the attributes of complex system, there are five attributes of complex systems. The first one is frequently complexity takes the form of a hierarchy whereby a complex system is composed of interrelated subsystems that in turn their own subsystems and so on until some lowest level of elementary components are reached. Good morning everybody, this is Vara Prasad, Assistant Professor, Department of Computer Science and Engineering, G. Pulaya College of Engineering and Technology, Karnal. And coming to the last attribute of complex system, a complex system that works is invariably found to have evolved from a simple system that Thank you.